fun times. Fun times. And we're back on the overworld. And we have different overworld music for some reason. I don't know why, we just do. Better check before we get lost. Now we're on the southern area. Or the southeast area, you know. The last of the four continents, I suppose you could say. I guess it means we're almost done with the game, right? Probably not. Okay. Do 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 do. So n nothing to find here just yet. We just want to head to the next area, the next town. Let's look at the map. Just down that way. Not really anywhere else to go for now. This music is kind of peaceful, though. Because we want to head to Honey's Day, Louisiana. Better Are we going the right way? Us. Yeah, okay. But we're going the right way. Let's take a good look around. Not sure if there are random battles here right now. There may not be. Uh, never mind. I just had to open my mouth, didn't I? We got a heavy orc! You can steal Potion Berry and Berserker Badge. Weakens water, halves fire. They have pretty low HP. It's a critter! Classic Wild Arms enemy. Weakens earth. You can steal Potion Berry and Tent. So that's an exciting time. God, that guy has like the fattest stomach I've ever seen in my life. I'm just saying. I'm always just saying. Oh, you're, you're weak against water. You're weak against earth. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I've never actually finished this game, so I don't really know, like, where the end of the game is. So. So I don't know. Uh oh. Oh, that's fire. I thought that was earth for some reason. I was like, what the beat, man? Any last words? I'll put your grave right here, okay? Boom! Let's keep this going. Do -do -do. I imagine this game is really long. At least that's what I've always kind of figured. Probably not as long as Wild Arms 3, because that's like one of the longest games ever made. But that's beside the point. Hellstab! It's a shame he doesn't do pork chop. Bum, bum, bum. That's not a bad fight. Dean levels up. Like a boss. Okay. There's Honey's Day, Louisiana. Let's go there, shall we? It's probably a cool place to be. Gotta love that music. Here we are, Honey's Day, Louisiana. Maybe we can get some Cajun food. It sure is a relief to get back to civilization. I guess orcs don't count. And I sure am hungry. Come on, let's go find some food. So that's what you were getting all antsy about. 
Though I guess it is just like you, huh? Maybe they got an Arby's around here. <laughs> There's a place here called the Hometown Cafe that serves good meals. Why don't we go there? That does sound good, actually. Good meals? All right, come on then, everyone. Let's set out for the Hometown Cafe. Dean, it's right over there. Cobart is now playing Fall Guys. Suddenly everyone's playing some game called Fall Guys. Like, what the hell, man? That's like the only game that exists now, apparently. Okay. So I believe there are three chests in this place. And we can get them all. Because why the beep not? Hmm. Oh, this thing! Keep this thing in mind. It, it's very important. What the heck is this? Just looking at it gets me all excited for some reason. Oh, I can't wait for that. That will be a thing. Probably soon. If memory serves. Well now, you're one handsome looking fellow. You here to take a dip with me into the Sea of Lust? Eh? You're just here to save. Okay. A land of green grass and white snow. I sure have come a long way from Capo Bronco, haven't I? I hope old man Tony and everyone are doing okay. I imagine they're fine. Woohoo! Okay. It's a chicken! How you doing? <laughs> Alright. Not really... Not really a whole lot going on here. I think I just saw a scarecrow. Alrighty then. It's a scarecrow, ladies and gentlemen! Ooh. Oh, this place is starting to bring back some memories. Of, of when I first played through the game. Hmm. I think something's about to happen. And it's probably not going to be good. The food here is really good. Doesn't it smell wonderful? Um, no? But every time I came here, the air was full of really tantalizing smells. Why not now? Sorry to disappoint you, hon, but right now there's almost nothing left to cook. We got ourselves a serious food shortage in the village right about now. So as much as I'd love to, I can't make anything for you. Aww. No turkey roast for us. What? B but I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Oh dear. We'll have to do something about that. Well, if you're gonna do something, then do something about them gobs in the Shrine to the East. Oh, not gobs again. Gobs are always troublemakers like Jack. Ow. I, I hit my mic with, with the side of my headset. That's very unprofessional. They keep coming and stealing all our food, the old bastages. That's why everyone here is a starving. Even I haven't had nothing but water for the past two days. Hey, water's good for you. Don't be knocking water. Nothing to eat for two whole days? It sounds like a nightmare. Yeah, I can just imagine you waking up in a cold sweat, running around looking for something to sink your teeth into. <laughs> Indeed. But there ain't no one here who can go up against the gobs. All the men are always working. 
That just leaves women, children, and old folks. Not much any of us can do about it. That's too bad. They're all in level one. It sure sounds like you're in a bind. Dean, well, what should we do? Like you have to ask. Let's get to that shrine and kick some gob ass. And yes, I did mean for that to rhyme. I figured as much, but let's not forget what we came for. Um, have you ever heard of a Johnny Appleseed? Johnny Appleseed? That's the name of that boy who used to live in the shrine, ain't it? Excuse me? Whoa, really? Yeah, a kid just waltzed in here one day, called called himself Johnny Appleseed. He peed all over the picnic table. I had to clean it up. I lost a lot of business that day. Or was it the future Johnny Appleseed? Ah, forget. Anyway, he stayed here for a little while, then he suddenly disappeared. Apparently someone saw him near the shrine once, but that's the last anyone ever heard of him. When was that? Hmm, about ten years ago, I suppose. Did you hear that, Avril? We may have found the trail of Johnny Appleseed. We can go kick his ass. But, Dean, that was ten years ago. There's no telling whether he'll find anything now. That was ten years ago, man. He, he, he could be a big Twitch streamer by now. Yeah, but at least we know it really is a person's name. That's better than nothing. Yes. So Johnny Appleseed really was the name of a person. Not just that of a wine. Yeah, now we really need to go to that shrine. If you're going, please take care of them pesky gobs too, will ya? If you manage to bring our stolen food back, I'll treat you to the best darn fried noodles this world's ever seen. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'll take some of those. Thank you very much. Fried noodles? Yes! I love fried noodles. By the way, I was wondering, that monowheel out in the fields, was that destroyed by the gobs too? That's that thing I was talking about. It's called a monowheel, according to Mr. Greg. Mr. Greg Sharp. If it can be repaired, I was hoping we could borrow it. Oh, that. That's my husband's, but the gob stole a spark plug right out from it. Spark plug? You know, they're just trying to cause trouble like Jack. I mean, who the hell steals a spark plug? Indeed. Greg, what's a monowheel? Sounds like fun. Remember that circular machine lying on the ground back there? That's it. If we could ride it, it'd be a lot easier to get around. Oh, that sounds like the best thing ever. We definitely need something like that. My husband don't need that thing anyway. If you can get that spark plug back, it's all yours. Cool. You know, we could just go to, like, AutoZone to, to buy a spark plug, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure there's an AutoZone around here somewhere, right? There you go. As long as we're going to the shrine, we might as well look for the spark plug as well. And if we find it, we can ride around in that thing, right? Great! Fried noodles, Johnny Appleseed, and a monowheel, too. Now we're talking. Keep it in your pants, Dean. All right, to the Eastern Shrine. Poor Johnny Appleseed, stuck between fried noodles and a monowheel. <laughs> okay. Enough of those shenanigans. Now we can take a look around. I, there's probably some new armors we can pick up and, you know, stuff. And there's cameos here. I think I see one over here. But first, there's people here. Oh, would you like to pet my kitty? Do go ahead. No need to be shy now. It'll help you forget how hungry you are. Hmm, the shrine to the east. Well, 
I believe it was created back during the Age of Lost Technology. It's this big imposing thing, but the air around it, it just seems so heavy and damp. It was creepy, so most people didn't go near it. The air has cleared up a great deal around there lately, but now the gobs have set up shop in there. So it's causing us more grief than ever before. That's too bad. AutoZone commercial skipped. That's no good. How you doing, man? We get a fair number of drifters here in Honey's Day, Louisiana. They stop by to visit the birthplace of some famous golem hunter or another. Tell me, is being a golem hunter really that amazing? Does it make you that much money? Enough to build a house as big and gaudy as the one he had? I think that house is just obnoxious myself. We could pack several families together in a place that size. I think it is. Never been there, but I think it is. It's Jet from Wild Arms 3. How you doing, man? Rascally youth. You're a drifter, aren't you? So am I. You got a moment? I got a problem here. Okay. I got something I need to have transported over to the guild in Le Labelle. Trouble is, it's kind of fragile. If it takes any kind of shock, like in battle or something, it'll break into pieces. So, you'll need to avoid fighting anything from here to Le Labelle. It'd be quicker for me to handle this, of course, but, well, some other work came up. Let's just leave it at that. So how about it? Will you take it? Oh boy. Bum ba bum ba bum. Do 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 do. do. So I think you have to do this before a, a certain point in the game where where it becomes inaccessible. Here's what I need transported to the guild. This egg. It's a monster egg, but it's fragile as all heck, so be careful with it. Oh, and if you screw up and break it, c c c come on back to Honey's Day, Louisiana, okay? I've got a few backup eggs here to work with. Good luck. So we get Humpty Dumpty. Not sure if he had a big fall or not, but you never know. I know it ain't exactly a piece of cake to make it to the Layla Bell Guild without a scratch, but you'll pick up a handsome reward for the job. The Guild Master Lady knows how to take care of her people, after all. Okay. Of course, H Humpty Dumpty is typically a boss in the Wild Arms games. Humpty Dumpty. There's something stuffed inside the thin shell. Okay, then. That's exciting, right? There's some chests. Two duplicators. And another dragon fossil noise. Um It's Mario from Wild Arms you know, from Wild Arms. Flower tending girl. Um, do you like flowers? If you do, then please feel free to look at these all you want. They're all blooming as brightly as they possibly can right now. Oh, okay. That is just exciting as all get out. Hmm. How's it going? Come on in, step right up. Our goods are all you need to fill both your traveling bag and your stomach. Johnny Appleseed, eh? To be honest with you, I don't remember too much about him nowadays. It being ten years ago and all. But yeah, there was a boy with that name who lived here. He just showed up and at the village one day all of a sudden. Rumor had it he was half human, half Varuni. He said he was working to get rid of the wall between humans and Varuni. But that sure didn't earn him many friends among the villagers. 
Even the Varuni considered him a misfit, so you can imagine what the humans thought of him. I don't think anyone ever really trusted the boy, no. That's too bad. Let's see what we got here. Anything new? Just a little bit, yeah. Burning Magazine. Get one of those. Dancing Step. We'll get one of those. Holy Saber. Finally a new one for you. Lost Grave. Mint Rocket instead of Candy Rocket. <laughs> Already got that. Ooh. We don't have one of those. Should probably get that then. Already got that. Survival vest. We should probably get that. Luckily we got plenty of money. Already got an arrow dress. Any new badges? A witch badge. I guess we can go ahead and get that then. And priest badge, since I think we used those, so we can get more of them. In case we need to use them for something. Ebony Shadow. Increases evasion by 25 after moving between hexes. Guess we'll get that. Item scope. Increases the chances of finding a treasure. Oh, it's that. 15,000. That, that's a lot of money, man. I don't know if I want to spend that, you know? We got more books! 18... 19... Oh, we already got that one, never mind. 21... 24... 25... Alright. Freaking treasure tone. Ebony shadow. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's crazy. Freaking dog leash. Put a collar on, you piece of shit. Okay. We can put on that stuff. Burning magazine. Very nice. Already got the Brave Guard. Dancing Step. That's the same amount of bullets, just better stats. It's actually not as good. We'll keep that on then. Lost Grave. Better equipment. Mint Rocket. Has three less bullets, but that's okay. Holy Saber. Has the same amount of bullets. I still don't get why Avril has bullets since she uses a sword, but whatever, man. I guess it doesn't really matter. No, it does it? No, it doesn't. Okay. 18. Physical attack reflection. Physical reflection to find and more. Never physically attack enemies with the reflect physical status. Use magic to damage them instead.
Why is it muted? Hmm. Why are you muted, Mike? Is it because I... Oh, because I pushed this, I think. I think that's why. So is it unmuted now? Okay. Yeah, there's a button here. I moved my mic over, and I guess I hit the mute button. That's no good. Okay. The Shrine to the East has been taken over by gobs, they say. But rumor has it they've eaten so much the, of the village food, they've all turned fat as pigs. Word is, if you go up to the Shrine's entrance, you can hear them complain about how their fat's starting to roll out of their armor. <laughs> Alrighty then. Hey, the hell? Irritated woman. We're already facing a severe food shortage here in the village, but now the gobs have made off with our precious reserves. Oh, it's so irritating. I haven't had anything to eat for three days. I don't even want to talk anymore. It uses too much energy. So shut up. Freaking people? Do, do, do. Can we go in here? It's a large round house, and it looks like it's got a ton of rooms inside. From above, I bet it'd look like a cake with a slice cut out of it. Alrighty then. They say most of the young people here left to work or make some money for their family. No wonder there's so many empty houses. There's a little sparkle here. Neutrino metal! Number nine. Whew, talk about dusty. If anyone lives here, they sure haven't been back in a while. That's too bad. Okay. Uh-oh. Something's happening. I don't like it when things happen. Well, this place is huge. That's what she said. I wonder who lives here. Whoever it is must be pretty rich. And yet living in a place where there's no food. Makes sense. Oh, it's probably just the Varuni that rules the village. What's so surprising about that? Actually, it looks like it's not. In fact, it would seem to belong to someone we're quite familiar with. Look at the name written over there. Where? What do you know? Nightburn Ackland. Wow, so this is Nightburn's house. Let's rob him. Let's TP his house. Nightburn, huh? That's all? Just a huh? I guess things aren't as simple as they used to be, are they? After what happened at the TV studio and all. Well, I'd be lying if I said they were. But I guess I can't be surprised that he wasn't exactly how I'd always imagined him to be. Basically, I set my expectations way too high. And he turned out to be, well, a douchebag. In any case, he's still the top golem hunter. Not just anyone could get that far. That's why he can't talk e that's why he can talk equally with the Varuni and why he can have such a big house. I still look up to him, you know. Even though his YouTube videos are terrible. It's just now I see him as a real person who's done some amazing things rather than an invincible superhero or something. Dean just watch. Someday, I'll get big and famous and live in a house like this, too. My videos will will get six million views every day. You'll see. You keep dreaming about that, kid. Okay. It doesn't look like anyone's around. Nightburn, did you really live in this huge place all by yourself? 
Okay. Then you can just jump off like it doesn't even matter. Okay. Anything over here? This is a kitty! Looks like this house belongs to a female. Oh, what makes you say that? It's Jude from Wild Arms 4! He looks like such a dork. Ah, uh, I'm so hungry I hardly got the energy to do anything. It'd be easier to get by if I could just eat the grass like all the animals. I keep... Maybe the occasional frog, too. Oh... Okay. Also, I think there's an apple um, in one of the bushes. Where is it at? Where are you at, man? I think one of the bushes has an apple. Apple in it. Evasion apple! There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Alright. Do, 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 do. Bum, bum. Maybe all the fish are dead. Do, 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 do. All right. So we got to make it back to, uh, to, uh, B -B -B Lay LaBelle without getting into any battles, basically. But first, there's also an easy money trick. What you want to do is buy as many priest badges and silver suns as you can get. And since we're doing that, I guess we'll go ahead and buy that uh, item scope. Do do do. Least favorite main character. Probably Jude, I would say. Priest badges. Uh, no, no, no. We'll get some priest badges. Buy 50 of them. And Silver Suns. Which are more expensive, but... It's an easy money trick, so, you know. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go grab a drink and use the facility. I'll be back. <laughs> 